Well, Hamas started it, but it got out of hand. Uh, I think Hamas miscalculated and assumed that with changes in the region, the Arab awakening, the fact that Hamas is no longer isolated as it once was, the Emir of Qatar was just in the Gaza Strip, they have uh, much better ties with Egypt, uh, that Israel wouldn't retaliate as it did. I think, therefore, mostly this internal Hamas dynamic led to Hamas to take this uh, recent adventurism. They miscalculated, didn't think the Israelis would retaliate. But the Israelis have had two things they've been concerned about for some time and therefore retaliated as they did. The first is Hamas's stockpiling of longer range and higher quality missiles, and particularly Iranian manufactured Fajr 3 and Fajr 5 missiles. The other thing they've wanted to do for some time is reassert a measure of deterrence with the Gaza Strip. They feel they've done that with Hezbollah in the north. Israel wants this type of deterrence reasserted with the Gaza Strip as too, too, so that Hamas and the smaller groups under understand that if they continue firing rockets at Israeli communities, there'll be uh, a consequence. Like the bottom line is the Israelis, I think at this point, could say that they took out a lot of the rockets and they've done enough to reassert deterrence. Hamas could say that they have demonstrated that they're no longer internationally isolated and that they have capabilities that can hit Jerusalem and Tel Aviv. You know, the last major incursion was also during an election season in Israel, so a lot of people have made the comparison saying, oh, see, when the Israelis have an election season, they feel the need to flex their muscles and so that they're tough to their constituencies. I don't think that's it this time. This is something that across the political spectrum, from the left to the right, Israelis are united on right now. And I think that uh, there's uh, a lot of legitimacy in their claim that no country would tolerate uh, a neighboring state or a neighboring sub-state firing missiles at their civilian populations uh, at any time they pleased.